appreciate the fact that we have <coughs> had an opportunity to have you here. And uh, we appreciate your presence. Um, Greg, I'll ask you a few questions. And let me start somewhere. You, you, uh, you recorded a statement concerning this particular investment that, that involved uh, this kind of security limited. Yes. And you remember how many statements you recorded? I one. Or one. even the day that the statement was recorded. Uh, that's still fair. But uh, can you confirm that the prosecution <coughs> called you severally to testify, and for one reason or another, you didn't testify? Yeah, I a number of times before mm -hmm. <coughs> about three times or four times. And then they they lost interest in you, they dropped you from their witness list. I don't know. Yeah, they yeah, did they call you to testify? They mm -hmm. lost their case without calling you. I think they I was told that the part of everything uh, that discovered about another witness. Somebody told you that? Yeah, yeah, one day when I came to the, after the hearing, they told me, they will not require you, because I think uh, what you want to say, is it, is it, yeah, it's okay, you know, I ask you because you are yes. honorable, right, a yes. colleague, actually, yes, yes. and um, these things, uh, it's important to clarify them, yes. so that if there is any doubt, it is the yes. Now, who, who, who is this witness that covers your evidence? You no, no, no. I was not told. You were not told. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I was told that the president of the church would cover what. Yes, let me just go a little further before I can ask you other questions. Yes. This witness, uh, whose evidence you, you, you who's, who covered your evidence, um, is not known to you, correct? I don't even know. Who you don't even know whether that witness had rec uh, recorded a statement before. I don't know. Very soon, uh, you will perhaps know why that explanation is not correct. And uh, here are some of the questions that will help us clarify. One is that uh, there was a record of share certificates that was maintained at NSSF, correct? A record of the share certificates purchased. Okay, me I was keeping the share transfer from records. So yes. if there was a specific record, share certificate number, I never interacted with that. Is it fair to know for a, a, a for a concern of the magnitude of NSSF? Yes. Is it fair to say that there must have been a record of all investments, including share certificates? Yeah, it would be fair. In whose custody would that record be? The investment department. The investment department. And who would have the custody of? Yes. I know he's concerned to let me also <laughs> let me express them for you. <laughs> is, is it something you're certain of? No, I, I would ask me, is it fair? I said to be fair to the Yeah, that's why I said so. And, uh, um, but there is no certainty in the answer, is there? Yeah, you know, I will go to this in the one here. Let me, let me put it straight. Mm. Uh, we have had evidence. I think it's before you are, or was it before another magistrate? The record will tell us that uh, 
the record of the share certificates and their custody yeah. was in the portfolio yeah. of the legal department. Is that correct? Certainly no. no. I can't say. Would the finance manager yes. have the responsibility of keeping a record of the share certificates and also keeping custody of those share certificates? Would that really, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a uh, the legal doctor within MSSF, because that's what you are, no, would, no, you expect, say, would you I expect? Would you expect? Would you expect share certificates and and uh, the records to be in the custody of the finance manager? You, you know, uh, maybe to understand the institution, yes. the finance and the investment department mm -hmm. were being organized by the general manager. Mm -hmm. Finance and finance and investment. So mm -hmm. the manager, the so called like Mr. Mr. Makuri, had a boss also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, like general manager? General manager of finance mm -hmm. and investment. Maybe the title. So yes, between but, them, but that's an administrative structure. There was a general manager. Yeah, I, I'm actually talking about some nitty gritty, yes, yes. which which you refer to. I'm not talking about administrative structure. So I wouldn't know yes. uh, because the investment was also under that uh, general manager. Yes. Where those uh, certificates? I would not. Uh, okay, it's my opinion. I'm not expecting them to be in the finance department. Okay, okay, yes. that's still fair. Would you know who was responsible for following up, I mean, the delivery of share certificates? Would you know who was responsible for following up the delivery of share certificates? investment manager. Now, uh, you, you, you spoke with a lot of clarity about the sealing of the transfer form, mm -hmm. and you said that was your responsibility. Mm -hmm. You also said that <coughs> um, the documentation that came to your office, I mean the document that came to your office was that form for your ceiling, and then there was a check that accompanied it. Yeah. When, when was the check done? When I signed the form. Yes. Together with that register. Yes. You put that on the office. See, see, see. Yes, yes. I will just seal it mm -hmm. and the put those number of forms. They could be 20, they could be the register. Yes. In that uh, black book, mm -hmm. and this person to the, to the managing, managing trustee. trustee's office. Now, from that end, the managing trustee will now talk to the relevant department finance for processing of the check. Yes. When that register now is taken to the board chair, yes. uh, he or she would expect that form to be there to sign yes. and the check. And the check. Yes. So, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I wanted. And uh, uh, at that point in time, the performance has not been complete in the sense that the shares have not been transferred. Because that form is the one that generates the transfer of the shares, isn't it? Cool. Both the check and the transfer form then would be sent 
to the provider, to the service provider, to the broker. Yes. To the broker. Yes. Again, at the point at which that has happened, the transaction is not complete because there has not been transfer of shares, correct? So, and as a lawyer, you, we all understand that this, this is a, a transaction where the law of contract would kick in, where you have things like uh, offer and acceptance, things like consideration. So, is it not the case, therefore, that both the offer and acceptance, the payments and so on, and performance are the questions of contract, the law of contract. So that, that so that the fact, and I want to use because you gave a very good example <coughs> about transfer of land. The fact that a check has been prepared does not necessarily exonerate the parties. There are other things that need to be done in order that for the contract to be sealed. Mm -hmm. In the case of the shares, there was the question of final transfer of shares and delivery of shares, correct? correct. And this would follow the payments that have been made, correct? Even after the payment, uh, you know now the register, the main register is that the Nairobi Stock Exchange yes. for the brokers to follow up there mm -hmm. and they now ensure that uh, the shareholders, the shareholders, the ones payment is reduced and the ones for the success is indicated there as the one who has Now the reason why this question is important yes. is that in the law of contract you have concepts like false Magyar, Magyar, um, supervening factors, correct? The things you call supervening factors. And the fact that the performance, the, 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 there has been no performance in the end, that may arise as a result of the intervention of what you call vagaries. Is that, is that not fair? <coughs> And there is a reason why I'm raising this, I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah. In this case, yeah. are you aware that this camp security was placed under liquidation? I'm aware. Is that what in contract you call force major? Well, it will depend on at what particular time this force major comes to you mm -hmm. for the share of what one year down the line and the force major comes today mm -hmm. to the expect In other words, there were dynamics that required explanation. Why the shares were not delivered despite the fact that they had been paid for. There were dynamics that required no I don't know because I'm not did, you, did you attend any of the meetings that were held with the PSL? No. Now, uh, let me just ask something that is uh, uh, straight that concerns my client. From your explanation, the way when you gave evidence, you actually placed in the transaction of purchase of shares the interaction with my client in that process occurred twice. I mean, my client got involved twice. One, to client my client is the finance manager. Oh, yes, the, the finance manager, Mr. Mr. Koya, um, he, 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 he interacted with that process twice. First, by disclosing that there was surplus, there was availability of surplus funds for that investment, correct? Yeah. And the second time he, he interacted with this process was when he, he processed payment. Is that correct? Any other time he was involved? At one time, I can't tell when he goes to the rank of the head of management. Mm -hmm. So he was uh, now controlling both the finance manager and the investment manager. They were under him. Mm -hmm. And then they were also all under the managing trustee. Yes, 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 they were all under 
Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about this purchase of the shares, the Mythic Greek, as you call it. Mm. His involvement was at two levels. Mm. At the level of, at the level of at, um, uh, informing the board mm. that there was surplus funds for investment, and also at the, the level of preparing payment. Yes, as a chair of the investment committee, he's not even informing the board. He's it's not his information that there is surplus. We can all see after the after that. computation yeah. that there is surplus. But then that is where he would come he in. Would come in yeah. And then the second time would be in terms <coughs> of payment. Now, let us talk about uh, the preparation of payment. Is it correct that what has been said here again and again is that he, he complied the, the process of payment would kick in on instructions from the managing trustee. I would say so like what has been shown that the investment manager will request the managing trustee to approve payment. Yes. All the even mine. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you want the funding. Yeah, yeah, just just the take, us, take, us, take, us, take us through the process in a, in a slow manner so that the point is uh, captured well. I would write to the managing trustee that we have this case. Mm -hmm. to the board are appointed. Uh, that is as a user department. As a user department. Yes. A kindly approved payment of 10 shillings, 2 million, so, yes. and so on and so forth. Yes. So, similarly, the investment manager mm -hmm. would uh, write to the managing trustee their shares to be bought, kindly approved payment. So the managing trustee would uh, make comments on that particular document. Yes. Uh, directed to the finance department. Yes. Either the general manager, finance, or the finance manager, kind of process, kind of <coughs> put his image. And, and the finance manager, manager mm. had to comply. Mm. Now, there is a question that my colleague asked you, and I think I'll ask you again in, in, in my evidence in chief. Now, uh, this whole process of purchase and acquire, uh, in, uh, ordering and acquisition of shares, uh, there was always an audit that was done to take stock of what had gone on. There was always an audit, internal and external. Is that correct? Not okay. Always external will be done yearly. Yes. Internally, uh, we want our performance contracts in the internal investment. The audit department has its own uh, system of how frequent scope. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, I wouldn't say weekly. I wouldn't say monthly. What, whatever, but it was periodic. Yes, yes. It was periodic. Yeah, I can say periodic. And uh, reports were reports generated? Uh, the external auditor would generate a report. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Internal the internal auditor? Internal auditor would generate a report, you know, report because that, that, uh, the internal auditor reports directly to the managing trustee or even to the board. Did you, did you have a chance to see any of those reports? For any reason? I can't recall it. I don't know what you recall. But um, uh, that report would naturally be incomplete without uh, these the activities that we described today, the activities of sealing, transfer forms, and, and so on. As a matter of interest, this. Uh, the, 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 the forms that uh, the transfer forms and that register that you that was forwarded to the managing trustee. What happened to those records? We, we have never seen them in court. What happened to the records? I mean, what, the, the records that you sent to the managing trustee with the, the transfer form you received. What could have happened with the records? Do you have any idea? I can't tell you, that's why I was saying, uh, because those who are now the proof that we are buying shares. Yes. So, yeah, I would 
Unless you know there is default, would you? A cause of action arises when there is default. 